what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides, and I am back with a buddy of mine. He actually was an old student, now a buddy of mine, CJ. He called me up, he said, listen, I got a car for you I just picked up. I think your subscribers are gonna love. And guess what, when I rolled up into the parking lot, he is right. What I have is a 2018 Hyundai Elantra GT Sport. Now what's cool is, is if you remember that name CJ, Back during the springtime, we did a review of his Mazda Speed 3, and I know a lot of you really love that one. So here he is back again with another, I'm gonna call it a hot hatch, because you'll see as we go through this, there's a lot of nice things that Hyundai has upgraded performance-wise, looks-wise, and everything else that really gives it that special feel. So let me give you a little bit of history lesson on Hyundai. Hyundai, South Korean car company, did not start selling cars here in the United States until about 1987. It was called the Hyundai Excel. That was the only model. You could get a sedan or you could get a hatchback. They were not really a big hit because of reliability issues, fit and finish, but for people who were looking for some cheap transportation, it really checked off the box for that. As time has gone by, Hyundai has really been able to up their game. Now, if you go to a Hyundai dealership, you're gonna know that there's a plethora of models. The Elantra has actually been around since 1990. So it's been around for quite some time. And it's nice to see Hyundai has decided to take the Elantra GT to a new level by adding just one simple word, sport. A lot of car companies, when they add sport to a name on a car, it's just a name, it's just a badge. Maybe you get some like red stitching on the interior. What's awesome about this car, with that badge, you actually get a totally different engine. You're getting a 1.6 liter inline four turbocharged engine, 201 horsepower, not too shabby. And it makes sense because this car is lining up to go against that Volkswagen Golf GTI. Now, one thing I do have to throw in there that I'm just gonna, it's gonna be a zonk for Hyundai is, is if you look at European car magazines, car shows, you would know that there's a car called the Hyundai i30. Well, guess what? This is the American version. Over in Europe, they add that new letter, i30N. And with the N, you're getting 275 horsepower. You're getting adaptive uh, suspension, upgraded brakes, and all this other wonderfulness. And we don't get that car here. Now, we are gonna get a Veloster N, I am keeping my fingers crossed that as we go into 2019, they will bring over an Elantra GT Sport N. I think that would really be a big hit, especially with cars like the Focus RS and the Focus ST not being sold here in the United States anymore. But enough with the history lesson and with me blabbing, let's go ahead and feature this 2018 Hyundai Elantra GT Sport. I love the front. Starting off with the front, I love what Hyundai's doing with the headlights, LED, a lot of car companies, you know, it's like they're trying to find their image. I think Hyundai's really hitting the nail on the head by really separating themselves by just looking just at these headlights, how different they are from other car companies. Here's another thing. I love the LED fog lamp. This is actually a functional air duct. Now, what this is doing, this is for aerodynamic aid, but I like it. Think about how many other car companies, Honda Civic, SI, that have these types of things here and they're not functional. So it's nice to see with the Hyundai Elantra GT Sport, they're functional. Let's focus on this grill. I know there's a lot of debate. People like to nitpick. They say, oh, they took that from Audi. Well, guess what? If they took it from Audi, that's not really a bad car company, but I really like the shape of the grill. It is Audi-esque, but I really think that it, it's helping Hyundai create a image, a brand image for their car company because lots of their models have this shape. I like the overall shape of it. I like the silver trim. And I also like the way they brought some silver into each one of these pieces here. Very nicely done. Now with the GT Sport, you get this lower lip spoiler that is integrated into the actual fascia. It's not just for show. This is actually a functional piece and it just helps with the overall aggressiveness of this car. Going up onto the hood, I like what they did with the body lines. They added some extra lines on each ed, edge of the hood to give it that extra aggressive appeal. Because remember, this being a sport, not just about the performance, but also about the looks. Let's go ahead and wrap it around the side. I love these wheels, 18 inch wheel. When we say 18 inch, we're talking about the diameter. I love the style. I like the way they went with a nice black center cap here. If I'm gonna zonk it, I would like to see a red painted caliper. Now I know you're saying, well, the red, what is that? That's not gonna help with performance. You're right. But it just, I think, would pop with the silver and the color of the wheel. 
and just let people know that this car, yes, it's a sport, but it does have that extra performance that does come with it. And plus it'd be kind of cool if they offered it in different colors, like yellow or blue or, or whatnot. But very, very nice setup. Underneath the fender, the sport doesn't stop just with the name badge, doesn't just stop with the engine. Underneath these fenders are extra suspension work that's been done to help this car handle differently from the standard Elantra GT. Let's go ahead and continue our way down the side. You can see the upscale feel here. They have the LED integrated uh, turn signals into the mirror. One thing I think would, would just look so cool on this car is a black roof. Flat black roof, I think it would help add to the extra look to it. And that's something that CJ could do, get it wrapped, but it would be nice if it came like that from Hyundai. There's a lot of car companies doing different color roofs to kind of break up the rest of the color of the car. Love the body lines. I love the rear quarter window. Gives it a very sporty feel, very sporty look. As we wrap it around the back, here's more upscale feel. I like what Hyundai's doing with their taillights, full LED uh, turn signals and everything. I also like how on the back you have this hatchback spoiler. It's very nice that they did this in black, but I think you would agree if this whole roof was black, it would look pretty cool. As we drop down, really love the back bumper fascia. One of the biggest things I think that makes this perfect is the cohesiveness of having dual exhaust. This being a sport, this having more horsepower, this having more aggression, it's nice to have that extra sound, the extra look. I think by going flat black, it really just adds a aggressive stance to the back of the car to match the front. But if you're ready, I'm ready to show you that 1.6 turbocharged inline four underneath the hood. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, here we are underneath the hood of the Hyundai Elantra GT Sport. Like I promised, there's that 1.6 liter inline four direct injected turbocharged engine putting out 201 horsepower. What's wonderful is Hyundai gives you a choice. You could have this with a six speed manual transmission, just like CJ has, or you could get a DC uh, T transmission, just like when I did that Hyundai Elantra Sport sedan. So it's nice to have the options. One thing I think if I'm gonna zonk it is I'd like to see a little bit better engine cover. I know that's probably a nitpick zonk, but uh, I just feel like when you pop this hood, you're, you're expecting this little extra glam and glitz, and this is just a little too plasticky looking. But other than that, underneath the hood, it's getting the job done. And like I said, the best part is, is that CJ was able to option this with a six-speed manual transmission. One thing though we're gonna do is we're gonna fire this up so you could hear what the GT Sport sounds like. Let's go fire it up. Right, guys here we are inside the 2018 Hyundai Elantra GT Sport let's start with the door panels now I do like there are softer materials than compared to like the Veloster I've noticed on the door panel the only thing I could zonk with it is I like to see a little bit more color and one color I'd like to see is red because as you transition into the car you'll notice up on the dash here I like the red trim around the air conditioning vents. They should have brought that into the doors, especially as you come and look at the seats. You have these wonderful leather seats, comfortable, like the red uh, ribbing to it. I like the red cross stitch, uh, stitching, and they have just enough, I think, bolstering to it to where you're not gonna feel too squished. But hey, if you wanna take this to an autocross event or a track day or a twisty road, you're gonna be held in, that's what you want. One thing I think Hyundai is doing very well is they're doing their infotainment systems. I like the gloss black around the screen. I also like, like I pointed out before, the red. They, if they should have brought that in just a little bit more, just a little bit more, very, very clean, not a lot of, not a lot of buttons, which is another nice touch. Um, you know, that's something where it's definitely gonna be like an Audi, you don't have a ton of buttons. You have a nice storage bin here with USB, and here it is the, the magic. This is that six speed manual transmission. Love the red that they put over on the knob, on the boot, you have the red stitching. Even the simple things like this nice sliding cover. I know some people are gonna be like, seriously, Joe, a sliding cover? It just adds to the extra feel and look. This one does have uh, an electric parking brake. I think we kind of have to get over that. That's where a lot of cars are going. Very spacious though. I'm six feet tall. 
Uh, I feel great with the headroom. Uh, headliner is a nice black, so it's a, a nice quality to it. Great armrest, great usability. Why don't you come on over here and I'll show you the business end behind the steering wheel. All right, guys, here's the business end. I really like this car. When I uh, slipped into it, I like the style of the steering wheel. Let's check out the pedals. Here's something where even Mustangs, even Camaros, they're, they're dropping the ball. It's nice to have uh, an aluminum dead pedal. It's a good size to support you when you're going down your twisty road. And there's those three famous pedals. Nice aluminum touch. They have some rubber grip so that your feet aren't slipping all over the place. And to be honest with you, heel toe isn't too bad. I think you're gonna run a little bit into the situation like on my Focus RS. That gas pedal needs to be brought up just a little bit more. That's what would allow the perfect heel toe downshift. So maybe if Hyundai's watching, which I know they always watch Rady's rides, they could work on bringing that uh, gas pedal out. But, but other than that, I like what's going on down here. This really is a magical place. I like the steering wheel. I like the size. I like the red trim and the silver. I, I think if I was gonna zonk it, you know, I know many of you want a flat bottom steering wheel but that's sort of like, you know, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, but I like the shape of it, the size, very clean on the instrumentation. You have a nice analog tack, nice analog speedometer, and then a, a LED uh, in the center. Obviously it's showing that we have doors open, but there's other information as you're driving that would be displayed there. If I'm gonna zonk a little bit more, which you, I know many of you want me to be honest, and I'm gonna be honest, I know CJ wants me to be honest. Overall, this, the interior is great. On the center console, it's a little plasticky around the, um, the gearbox here. If, if you look, it's just a little bit harder. They have softer up here, but harder down here. You do get heated seats, which is wonderful. And there are a couple, you know, dead buttons, which I don't, I don't know why those are there. I would like to see those gone. Um, but other than that, everything else in this um, interior is really spot on. And with an MSRP of around $25,000, I mean, I think you're getting a huge bang for the buck. And the warranty, five years, bumper to bumper, 60,000 miles. I mean, that's a, that's a great warranty besides what you get on the powertrain, which is that 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty. Speaking of the powertrain, let's go take this one for a spin. All right, guys, we're in CJ's 2018 Hyundai Elantra GT Sport. Like I was telling you, I love the layout of the steering wheel. I like the simplicity of the gauges. If I'm gonna throw another Zonk while we're here, I would like to see that red trim around the rings of the gauges. I think that would really, really help just add to the sportiness of it. You could see around the AC, like I was pointing out, and on the steering wheel, you have the red trim, but I would just like to see a little bit more. I'm sure they got red trim lying around. Just add a little bit more, and I think that it would be even better. Check out the eight inch uh, infotainment screen. Love the size, love the fonts, love the colors. I know some people are still debating on the whole, it looks like a tablet kind of thing, but it just really does clean up the rest of this area and allows it to be lower based off of the position of where it's located. So that kind of makes it nice. Six speed, very nice, crisp engagement. The throws could be a little bit shorter, but still, like I said, this isn't the end version. If only we could get them to bring over the end version. I think that would take care of a lot of issues that we're dealing with, um, with when it comes to Zonks, which the Zonks are still not that big of a deal. They're, they're far and few between. Clutch is super light, rolling out. So that's a nice thing, especially if you have um, a very you know traffic ingested uh, drive, the clutch is very light on this. So your left leg, uh, left leg is gonna thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and get on a little bit. We're in second gear. Nice sound coming from the back of the car. You can see on the dash, it tells you to upshift into the next gear. Now, a lot of times car companies are putting it there for, um, you know, getting be better gas mileage, but at least it also tells you, hey, what kind of gear that you're in. So if it's showing six, you know that you're in fifth. But rolling away from a stop, very good, very good clutch feel. I like the weight of the steering too. Uh, you know, that's been a thing with Hondas is how their steering is, especially on their sportier models. It's got a nice weight to it. It's not too flimsy. Um, and, I, and I can see that they're doing their homework when it comes to not only the power of the engine, but also the overall feel of the whole car together. So rolling out. 
in the second gear, just rolling into it, just builds the boost. It's nice, the boost comes in low, all the way up to red line, shift into third. Really great feel, really, really great feel. Brake pedal is nice. Let me try that heel toe downshifting. I'm gonna take it back. I'm taking back what I said earlier. The pedal is actually not too bad. Um, it isn't so much low as it is too far to the right. So it's not 100% perfect, but I think if they just move the pedal over a little bit, it would solve all the issues. But other than that, it rides really nice over bumps. I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda take this turn a little bit quicker to show the handling. Nice, on the power. It pulls very good all the way up to red line. I know that CJ is gonna be doing a little bit work with the exhaust and I think that would actually help fit the image of the car a little bit more. And that's the thing guys, Hyundai has that end version of this car and with the exhaust on that car, I really feel that that's where they hit the nail perfectly on the head. So Hyundai, I know you're watching Radies Rides, please bring an Elantra GT N version to the United States. There's a lot of people I think you would make very happy, and especially people that maybe are sick of Volkswagen. You know, everywhere you go, you see a lot of Volkswagen Golf GTIs, and that's cool, but it's nice to have some options. And who cannot want 275 horsepower out of a car this size? Remember, this car weighs 3,000 pounds, right around 3,000 pounds, so it's not a heavyweight car. 275 horsepower, I'm gonna shut up would be great. But with the 201 horsepower, it's no slouch either. either. I like how, how uh, slick shifting the transmission is. It's really, really nice. Brakes have a really good feel to them, even though they're not like some ultra high performance brake setup. Um, but that's another area that with the end, you definitely get a little bit of extra. But I think that this is a great car for people to get in at a great price level and also have some fun and performance. I mean, this car is a lot of fun to drive. Really, really nice. I'm, I'm really impressed with this Hyundai. Great sound. Transition over bumps is good. But we're back to where we're starting and if you're ready, I am ready to wrap this one up so we will see you in a split second. We'll be right back. All right guys, it's been a wonderful day with this 2018 Hyundai Elantra GT Sport. Definitely got to give a huge shout out and a thank you to CJ for bringing her out. I'm hoping that this has opened your eyes, that there are still fun hot hatches out there. You have a nice variety. They all don't have to have 350 horsepower and all wheel drive to be a fun hot hatch. Hyundai's doing a great job, coming in at a great price point, and I'm just hoping that other manufacturers will follow suit and step up their game because in the end, that's what us enthusiasts want. We want fun cars to drive. But anyways, if these are the types of cars you like to see on Randy's Rides, leave a comment in that comment section. If you have not hit subscribe yet, what are you waiting for? These are the types of cars, variety, muscle cars, classic cars, imports, everything in between. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back each and every day. If you are a subscriber, thank you. Thank you for your commitment. Thank you for your care, your trust, your support. I'm so grateful you're on this journey with me and it just keeps getting better and better and better and I love sharing each and every ride with you, so thank you for that. If you haven't checked out my Instagram, my Facebook, or Twitter pages, Radies Rides original content all the time. I promise you that. I don't copy and paste other people's pictures. That's a no-no. Also, merch, where do you get it? Guess what, there's a button that's probably appearing right now on the screen. Click that, that'll take you to Spreadshirt. You can get yourself a hat, bandana, uh, bags, hoodies, the whole nine yards. Get your neighbor something, get your whole neighborhood something. Help support Radies Rides, help promote Radies Rides. I gotta give a huge shout out and a thank you to my wonderful, beautiful, loving, caring wife, Lori, who's working that camera like a champ, bringing you the great angles. We just got done being at the gym, lifting some weights so that she can be bringing you the awesome shots. So thank you, Lori, for getting it done. And like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.